to me, sonny, in or out. This ball's going straight down that hole. <laughs> <laughs> you missed, Corporal? I never missed. That cross-eyed island game made me miss. I'll give myself that one. Three, three, gloves. I really don't see the point. You're only cheating yourself, Corporal. Look, I am myself, and I would know whether I was being cheated or not, and I say I am not, so there. Last hole, move. Come on, Edward the Seventh. Whoosh, whoosh. Left hand down. Hop. Gloves. Put up. Ball. Dew drop. <laughs> <laughs> right, pass. How many do I need to beat my record? One. You need to do the hole in one, Corporal. <laughs> Simple. To the hole. Push. 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 All the way. Push. Push. Ah! Oh, we made it! Aye, no thanks to the thing in the wheelchair. He's getting worse. I never thought it was possible, but of course it is. I must admit, I'm finding it more and more difficult to nurse him and mean it. Well, it's working on his private ward and having to look after him. That's a bit that really squeezes your nuts in it, oh. eh? <laughs> I had to, put some, had to put some tape around the wires of his bedside lamp yesterday. Yeah. yeah, well, they were exposed, you see, and if they'd touched his iron bedstead, he yeah. could have gone up in a sheet of blue flames. Yeah? I can't tell you what it cost me putting that tape on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> My God, what a mess. <coughs> yes, I've coined a new collective noun for a group of national service personnel such as you. It is epimedic, an epidemic of medics. <laughs> <laughs> Hands! <laughs> Disgusting. There are enough bacteria underneath those fingernails to decimate the population of London. Before you do anything else, wash. Not now. <laughs> First, I'm going to assign you your new duties. It is my policy with the baser levels of nursing staff to expose them to the various departments here, hoping forlornly that they will glean at least the rudiments of nursing. Ah, yes. You four are the element who are supposed to be nursing poor Corporal Marsh, aren't you? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to take you off that. Oh, oh thank you, sir. Lovely. You'll all report to Sergeant Foote. Yes, sir. Uh, where do we find him, sir? In the morgue. Ha, <laughs> 
Hello? Hello? Sergeant Foot? Sergeant Foot? Hello, lads. Um, reporting for duty, Sergeant. Ah, yes, another batch come to learn the ropes. Well, I hope you enjoy yourselves down here, lads. I see no reason why you shouldn't. In my opinion, this is the most fascinating place in the old hospital. Now, you'll find me a very happy-go-lucky sort of chap, except on one score. I cannot abide congealed blood on my post-mortem slab. So if you want to keep me sweet, it's hose, hose, hose. And if in doubt, hose again. Excuse me, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Have you, have you just cut one up? Uh, no, this, oh, bless your heart, no, I've been red leading the incinerator. <laughs> what are you burning the incinerator there, Sergeant, eh? Oh, all sorts of things. Amputated limbs, various unwanted tissues, and of course, soil dressings. Well, we'd be doing that. If you're lucky, yes. Of course, you get your slow days, of course you do. Now, what do you suppose we keep in those? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, b-b-b-b-b-b-bodies, Sergeant? Cadavers, son. Oh. Get your parlance right. Cadavers. Ever seen one of you? No, Any no, 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 no. Well, that's a pleasure to come, because there are none down here at the moment. <laughs> As I said, you'll get your slow weeks. It's very peaceful down here, isn't it, Sergeant? Hello, hello. What have we got here? A lad with flair? Well, I don't know, Sergeant, but at least there's no banging or stamping about down here. Yes. It's in you, lad. You mark my words. It's in you. You make yourselves at home, lads. I've just got to pop up the pathology with this. You've got to have heart. <laughs> I think he had one in the bottle. <laughs> I don't like it down here. I'm only 18. We're all only 18. <laughs> well, look at it this way. It's just another field of, um... <coughs> well, and, and providing you hose down afterwards, you... <laughs> don't! <laughs> I don't like it down here either. Mark, AC1 Lecky speaking. Uh-huh. Aye, of course. It's like a duck to all, isn't it? Uh-huh. Aye, right. Uh, there's a warrant officer yeoman on his way down. Oh, oh. no! Come, come. Where's the hose? Where's the hose? Yes, quickly, squirt everything! Oh, what is that swine of a CO sending someone down for a snap inspection? Look, wait a minute, wait a minute. We haven't done anything wrong, have we? No, you're, you're, you're right, we haven't done anything wrong. Please. I don't think we have, have we? Of course we have. Well, what is it then? Well, something bound to be always in. Watch out! <laughs> is, is that what I think it is under there? Well, I don't think it's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, you know you said Warrant Officer Yeoman was on his way down. Aye. He's arrived. <laughs>
This is a nice welcome for a hero. Well, you shouldn't creep up behind people. But I just wanted to savour the moment, Alice. I mean, it's like dangerous moonlight all over again, isn't it? Oh, I love that film. Do you know I howled all the way through? Exactly. The music playing, the hero returning. I am Anton Woolbrook and you are Sally Gray. Well, I see the resemblance. Do you, Alice? Yes. I look a lot like Sally Gray. Wow. But you still act on me. What are you doing, oh? Convalescent. Group Captain Ruark said I was well enough to return to the bowels of my own home and recuperate <laughs> at my leisure. A sky, do you mean? Uh, virtually, yeah. Mm. I could hang it out for 10 or 12 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what did you miss most when he was in hospital, Percy? I think you know the answer to that one, Alice. Tell me anyway. <laughs> Gary balded biscuits and milk stout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you, my darling, and you. Anyway, Gary balded biscuits and milk stout are now persona non grata in this house. Have you been learning Italian, Alice? <laughs> That's French, actually. It means that now we have a dream house and we have shot up the social scale, we should act more social at ourselves. Light refreshment now comes as Kunzel cake and medium sherry. I thought you liked sweet sherry, that Dolce Nita. I did. But once you've got two labs and a patio, your taste change. Two labs? Yeah. We'll both be out of car at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no more wriggling about outside the bathroom door for us, Percy. And wait till you see the rest of the house. Well, if this room's anything to go by, it'll almost be officer's mess standard. It will be officer's mess standard by the time I've finished with it. I'll get you cunts up, Kate. The sherry's in the cocktail cabinet. <laughs> Oh, now that is class. <laughs> Percy, that isn't a sherry glass. <laughs> this is a sherry glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I've poured it out now, haven't I? Oh, all right. There's your Kunzel cake. Oh. Percy! One takes forkfuls, not gobfuls. <laughs> well, they ought to be bigger then, didn't they? Ooh, I can see I'm going to have to give your manners a scene to if we're going to elevate ourselves upwards. Don't you worry about me, Alice. <coughs> this medal is my passport to higher society. This is what makes us the peculiarity of the road we live in. From now on, we set the social fashions and others follow. Yes. We could be the poshest corporal and wife in the West Country. Yeah. Who knows? I may even become a debutante. We both might. <laughs> There's no limit to our expectations now, Alice. Oh, I'm tingling all over, Percy. Are you trying to tell me <laughs> it's pom-pom slipper time, my queen? Oh, not only that, but the headboard of our bed is made of pink button plastic. Oh, Alice. <laughs> hey, up, though. What? How long did you say you're convalescing for? Oh, 10 or 12 weeks. But what happens then? What happens when you're fit for duty? Well, I suppose I'll get posted. And? <coughs> oh. Exactly. You know what'll happen then, don't you? We'll be knocked off as pedestals like two coconuts at a fair. Oh, it mustn't happen. I've got frostbite for this house. I can't become lower class again, Percy. I bought underfelt for the lino in the boiler room and everything. Oh, get a grip, Alice, get a grip. Of course, we are not using the biggest thing in this room, are we? What's that? My head. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something in here to get us out of this. Now, calmly and quietly, let me ponder by the fire and have a good think. Oh, all right, Percy, all right. <sighs> It is a question of sheer brain power, that's all it is. <laughs> Use what's in there, that's my motto. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me for not for saluting you for more than three seconds, sir, but it's terribly urgent. Of course, Corporal. What seems to be the trouble? Uh, my wife, sir. Has she been to see you? No. Oh, thank God for that, sir. If she does, would you do me a favour, sir? Would you throw her out bodily, if necessary? <laughs> Why? Because what she's got to say to you, sir, 
is self-centred, silly and civilian. Sit down, Corporal. Tell me about it. Thank you, sir. Well, sir, she has some wild idea of persuading you to take me on the permanent staff here, permanently. Yes. Oh, she's got a million reasons she's worked out, sir. She knows that you are a doctor second and a disciplinarian first. She knows that discipline is my strong point. She reckons that together we can turn this station into something that would shame the Brigade of Guards. Yes, go on. Well, she keeps going on about how I could pull the nursing staff here up by their bootstraps, knock some ginger into them, stop them lounging about like a load of rag bags, <laughs> remind them that they are still part of the fighting services, heirs to the Battle of Britain people. Why did my legs have to be too short? <laughs> if they hadn't been, I'd have been up there too, shooting the Hun out of the sky. Instead of asking about taking degrees in surgery and pathology, Oh, damn it, man, your wife's right. <laughs> Medics or not, we are part of the fighting services and those slovenly national service types we're getting should damn well know it. Oh, damn and blast, sir, she's got through to you. The very thing I didn't want to happen has happened. But think of the possibilities, man. I could be Thor, you could be my hammer. Together we could beat this hospital. Oh, stop there, sir, please. <laughs> You've almost got me wanting to be on the permanent staff here, sir. Well, why don't you, man? Because I want to prove that this wasn't a fluke, sir. I want to know that carrying your best friend 84 miles through a blizzard wasn't just one I pulled out of the hat, sir. I want to know I can do it again. Didn't you have a rest on your laurels, Corporal? I wasn't aware I had any, sir. <laughs> Please, sir, forget what my wife has just said, or what she would have said had she come up here, but what has unfortunately come out through me being up here to tell you not to listen to anything she might have said if she had been up here. Forget all that. Just find me a war, sir, and get me posted to it, please. By Jove, I've jolly good mind to. That what? But I'm not going to. I'm sorry, Marsh. I hope you're not too disappointed that I'm keeping you on here. I'll try not to be, sir. I just hope I don't take it out on the wife, that's all, sir. No, don't do that. She meant well. If you're going to take it out on somebody, Corporal, why not take it out on those little snots in my hospital? <laughs> I think I've got it in me, sir. <laughs> do you know something, Jimmy? I've been thinking about my wife all day. Wendy, her name is. Oh, I told you that, didn't I? Oh, she's a lovely girl, Jimmy. <laughs> you know, she almost makes me feel happy. <laughs> but I'm stuck here and Wendy's stuck in Malta. The time, the time, it goes so slow. I suppose you've noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, did you read the paper this morning? No, no, you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> but, uh, but it's just my luck. Seems like they're going to extend national service. Ah, uh, uh, this Cyprus thing looks like brewing up. Well, I don't know what you think, but it's my opinion. Bruce! <laughs> Bruce, what are you doing? I'm just having a chat. <laughs> chat to a corpse? You can, I just have. <laughs> Look, Bruce, um, do you think you could put your friend away? Aye, all right. See you later, Jimmy. <laughs> Stand by your corpses. Can't we talk about something else? Well, I ain't gonna talk about something else. Now, listen. You know you told me that gospel means good news, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Well, I am going to gospel you. I've just been up to collect a couple of Bob Island LAC underside the other day to buy his new lily pot. Well, I'm glad he honoured his debt, but I don't really see what that's Let me finish, please. LAC underside has been working on the same wall what we was on, what contains Corporal King Pig Marsh. Now, the aforesaid King Pig was sent home on Monday to convalesce. That's not good news. That means he's getting better. Oh, do use your agis, please. <laughs> if the King Pig is getting better, it means he will soon be fit for duty and get posted! Right! Oh, right! Some of the trumpets blew the sackbuck! Did you hear that, Jimmy? <laughs> Do you mind, Bruce, please? Please? Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, I ain't felt so happy since I've got my first pair of blue drape with black velvet collar and cuffs. Here, what's that song you sing, Matthew? Oh, my happy song. Yes, come on, give us a verse. Come on. Oh, the sun has got his hat on. <laughs> Sunday's got his hat on and he's going out to play. Sunday's got his hat on. Shut up, little baby. The Sunday's got his hat on. Lads, lads.
Francis, have a little respect, please. <laughs> Sorry, Sergeant. Just got a bit, bit of good news, Sergeant. Oh, well, I'm very pleased for you. But happiness in a morgue should be a quiet thing. Take a tip from young Bruce here. Anything to report, son? Yes, Sergeant. Uh, you remember that sebaceous cyst that came down? Well, um, I put it through the books. Good lad, good lad. Uh, and I also took the liberty of rearranging the physical abnormality jars in alphabetical order. You did that on your own initiative? I, uh, I hope I haven't overstepped the mark. That's not overstepping the mark, Bruce. That is the instinct of a born mortuary attendant. Do you really think so, Sergeant? I do, I do. You have a genuine feel for death. <laughs> I'm only sorry that your spell of duty here has come to an end. Um, can we leave now then, Sergeant? Oh, I know, I know. You can't wait to get away, can you? Oh, you've done very well down here. But in your heart of hearts, you're like most of the boys. You look upon mortuary work as a dead-end job. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself. I know you have, Bruce, but you're a rarity. You're a natural. Incidentally, have you given any more thought to making this your life's work? Well, I'm going to get demobbed as an AC1. W what chance have I got? My reference in your pocket. Now, I'm not saying too much, but I am a dot on the mortuary map of these islands. You think about it. Aye, I will. Thanks very much, Sergeant. Mm. So we can leave now, then, can we? Yes, yes, yes. all right, boys. Off you go. Bye-bye, Sergeant. Bye-bye. Who knows? I may see you down here again one day, in one form or another. You see? You see, we carry the smell of that place about with us. Doesn't really matter what our next duty is. Can't be worse than the morgue. Speak for yourself. It can't be worse than the morgue. Look, leave us not forget that even now, the wheels are in motion to post a puddin' headed Percy Marsh elsewhere and out of our lives. True, the sun has got his hat on. Parade! Parade! Jump! Glad to see me up and about again, lad. <laughs> hey, lads? Yes, Lord, it's cool. cool. You'll pardon me for talking to these four in particular, but they are old drinking mates of mine, old muckers. And I have something very wonderful to tell them. Get your hankies at the slope, lads, because this is likely to be an emotional experience for you. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful news! I am now on the permanent staff of this hospital. <laughs> What, as I hear you ask, I hear you ask. What, what as Corporal? Thanks for asking, I'll tell you. <laughs> the commanding officer's right hand man, his Emma, his Major Domino. <laughs> there's no need to congratulate me. I said there's no need to congratulate me. Congratulations, Corporal. Corporal. You can see why I love them. <coughs> now, as the commanding officer's right-hand man, I'm about to perform my first <coughs> official duty by proxy for him. <laughs> <laughs> I am about to announce the week's special duties. Uh, you'll forgive me again if I do my four little mates first, because there's no getting round it. I do have favourites. <laughs> Morgue. <laughs> we just come from there. I know, and you're going straight back down again. <laughs> Doom and death party, left turn. <laughs> Doom and death party, to the morgue, shovel, help right, help right. And wipe that smile off your face, jockstrap, or I'll give you another month down there. Oh, thanks, Corporal. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Now is the time to sing There's only one way to get out And that's to get some in <laughs>